how has your family been throughout all this process? Through um, whenever I came back or while I was in? Mm, presently. Um, it's been different because, of course, I told you about, like, just the different attitude I had with everything whenever I did come back. Like, yeah. And, of course, uh, like, I was very, what, am very crass and blunt. Like, if I think of something, I will say something, right? And, like, things I was willing to put up with just because someone was a family member before, I don't now. And, unfortunately, that takes a good bit of work because, like, yes, that that is my family and I don't want to push everybody away just because I want to speak my mind all the time because like they are your family but you can still push them away to the point that they don't want anything to do with you true but do you see that as a strength or a weakness or something that you know something that could get you into trouble or well I see that mentality as like a tool like a hammer it just depends on how you use it. Like a hammer can be used to build something or you can use it to tear it down. Interesting. So, where do you see yourself, you know, five years from now? Um, well, five years from now, I'm definitely gonna be post-grad. So hopefully I'll be either doing uh, an entrepreneurship or maybe I would have come up with some grand idea to have my own business here in Aiken, South Carolina. I mean, of course, naturally I'm still brainstorming, but I got a little ways to go before I get to that point. So you're in, you really want to make an impact in the Aiken area? I would like to, but of course, naturally, you know, money is always an issue. It's like, yeah, you can come up with a grand idea, but where's the money and where's it coming from? Would you recommend someone going to the military? I mean, naturally, I would always encourage somebody if they want to go in to at least do one tour. Um, but I would also want them to go in knowing a lot more than I did whenever I went in because there's a lot of things that while I was in there came as a huge surprise to me. It's like, oh, hold up. No one told me about this, you know. And unfortunately i think that's the hell they kind of get you in sometimes is you have this idea of what the military is like and just no one bothers to correct you until you're in there and you see it for yourself um like many professions um you know you have to how can i explain it with many professions, sometimes you have to go in with intent to like, you know, want to do that profession. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like um, many who want to go into the military, like, have to want to be in the military? I mean, you should always want to be in there. Like, I mean, one of the first questions they ask you is, is someone making you do this against your will? And mm -hmm. like... I never understood how important that was until I got in and saw some of the people that were in there. Like, there are people in there who are literally in there because someone told them to go because it was expected of them. Like, you know, oh, my my dad was in the military, I was in the military, and you're going to be in the military too because that's what we do. This is a tradition or a household. And some people just don't want to do that. And you got other people who don't have a choice either way because they're trying to get citizenship or something like that. But I feel like, what I mean, with anything that you do, you should have your heart in it if that's what you want to do. Exactly. Um, is there anything else you would like to say? Anything military-related? Anything about Aiken? I mean, of course, like, like I said before, I mean, I love Aiken. It's a small town. I mean, it's slow, and there's not a lot of stuff around here, but we're in a very good spot that, like, you know, I want to go to the mountains, it's a four-hour drive. If I want to go to the beach, it's a four-hour drive. Like, Columbia is an hour up that way, Augusta's half an hour down that way. So, I mean, I'm in the middle of everything. So it's great. It's a great spot to be in. Okay, thank you.